The State Space Agency of Ukraine (SSAU), Ukrainian: Derzavna Kosmichna Agentstvo Ukraini Derzavna Kosmichna Agentstvo Ukraini (DKAU DKAU) is the Ukrainian government agency responsible for space policy and programs. Along with the Ukrainian Defense Industry and the Antonov Aeronautical Scientific Technical Complex, it is a major state complex of the National Defense Industry of Ukraine. The State Space Agency of Ukraine does not specialize in manned astronautical programs. It is the second of two direct Soviet space program descendants. The agency does not have its own spaceport and is often dependent on the resources of the Russian Federal Space Agency the primary inheritor of the Soviet space program. Until December 9, 2010, the agency was known as Nationalne Kosmikna Agentstvo Ukraini, INCAO the National Space Agency of Ukraine NSAU, until 2014 launches were conducted at Kazakhstan's Baikonur and Russia's Pulsetsk Cosmodromes. After the Crimean crisis, launches were conducted on Sea Launch's floating platform, which was soon mothballed. NSAU has ground control and tracking facilities in Kiev and a control center in Dunayevtsi Kamelnitsky Oblast. Other facilities in Yetpatoria, Crimea were abandoned after the annexation. Ukrainian spacecraft include a few kinds for domestic and foreign use and international cooperation. Ukraine has supplied Russia with military satellites and their launch vehicles, a unique relationship in the world. <laughs> Main tasks Development of state policy concepts in the sphere of research and peaceful uses of space, as well as in the interests of national security. Organization and development of space activities in Ukraine and under its jurisdiction abroad. Contributing to state national security and defense capability. Organization and development of Ukraine's cooperation with other states and international space organizations. NSAU is a civil body in charge of co ordinating the efforts of government installations, research, and industrial companies. Mostly state -owned. Several space related institutes and industries are directly subordinated to NSAU. However, it is not a united and centralized system immediately participating in all stages and details of space programs like NASA in the United States. A special space force in the military of Ukraine is also absent. The agency oversees launch vehicle and satellite programs, cooperative programs with the Russian Aviation and Space Agency, the European Space Agency, NASA, and commercial ventures. International participation includes Sea Launch and the Galileo Positioning System. Topic: <laughs> Space Program Space activities in Ukraine have been pursued over a 10-year span in strict accordance with national space programs. Each of them was intended to address the relevant current issues to preserve and further develop the space potential of Ukraine. The first program was called upon to keep up the research and industrial space-related potentiality for the benefit of the national economy and state security as well as to be able to break into the international market of space services. The second program 1998 was aimed at creating an internal market of space services, conquering the international space markets by presenting in-house products and services including launch complexes and spacecraft, space-acquired data, space system components and integrating Ukraine into the worldwide space community. The National Space Program of Ukraine for 2003-2007 (NSPU), which was adopted by the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine, the Parliament of Ukraine, on October 24, 2002, outlines the main goals, assignments, priorities, and methods of maintaining space activity in Ukraine. The Ukrainian Cabinet of Ministers announced its plans on the 13th of April 2007 to allocate 312 million euros to the National Space Program for 2007 to 2011. Specific programs Scientific space research Remote sensing of the Earth Satellite telecommunications systems Development of ground-based infrastructure for navigation and special information system Space activities in the interests of national security and defense Space complexes Development of base elements and advanced space technologies Development of research, test and production base of the space sector goals of the program 
to develop a national system for Earth observation from outer space to meet the national demands in the social economic sphere and for security and defense purposes, to introduce satellite systems and communication facilities into the telecommunication infrastructure of the state, to obtain new fundamental knowledge on near-Earth outer space, the solar system, deep space, biological and physical processes and the microgravity condition, to create and develop techniques for space access with a view toward realizing national and international projects and to enable the homemade rocket to be employed on the worldwide market of space transportation services, to elaborate the advanced space facilities, to ensure the innovative development of the space sector in terms of improving its research, experimental and production basis. History The agency is a minor descendant of the Soviet space program that was passed mostly to the Russian Federal Space Agency. The agency took over all the former Soviet defense industrial complex that was located on the territory of Ukraine. The space industry of Ukraine started in 1937 when a group of scientists led by Hirhi Proskura launched a large stratospheric rocket near Kharkiv. In 1954, the Soviet government transformed the car producer Yuzhmash into a rocket company. Since that time, the city of Dnipropovsk has been known in the Anglophone world as the Soviet rocket city. Ukraine officially became the 10th space power on August 31, 1995 with the launch of SICH-1 using a TSYKLON-3. As of April 2009, the Ukrainian National Space Agency is planning to launch a Ukrainian communications satellite by September 2011 and a SICH-2 before the end of 2011. Topic: <laughs> National Enterprises of the Space Industry. Most of the enterprises are located in Dnipro or Kiev. Dnipro State Enterprise Makarov Yuzhny Machine Building Plant Yuzhmash. State Enterprise Yangel Yuzhnoy State Design Office State Enterprise Dniprokosmos State Enterprise Dniprovsky Project Institute Makarov National Center of Aero Cosmic Education for the Youth State Enterprise Center of Rocket Space Technology Standardization State Enterprise Nikopol Pipe Plant State Enterprise Pavlorad Chemical Plant Kiev State Enterprise Arsenal Factory State Enterprise Eukarkosmos State Enterprise Kiev Prelad State Enterprise Scientific Center of a Precise Machine Building State Joint Stock Holding Company, Kiev Radio Plant, Former Production Complex, Open Joint Stock Association, Kiev Radio Plant, Open Joint Stock Association, RSB Radio Plant, Open Joint Stock Association, SPC Kurs, State Scientific Production Center, Priroda, State Scientific Production Enterprise Ukrainsky Innovadieni Promyslovi Technolawi, Karki Science Research Technological Institute of Instrument Building and DTIP, Public Stock Association, Kartron, Corporation Komunerkrime National Space Facilities Control and Testing Center. Topic: Launch capabilities. During 1991-2007, a total of 97 launches of Ukrainian LV were conducted, including, but not limited to launches on the Sea Launch mobile launch pad. In 2006 Ukrainian launch vehicles accounted for 12% of all launches into space in the world. Ukrainian companies Yuzhnoy Design Office and Yuzhmash have engineered and produced seven types of launch vehicles. Adding strap-on boosters to launch vehicles may expand the family of Mayak, which is the latest launch vehicle developed. Topic: <laughs> Former Cyclone TSYKLON2 TSYKLON3 Topic: Current 
Zenit 2 Zenit 3 SL Zenit 3 SLB DNEPR Topic Developed Mayak Cyclone 4 M Topic Svityaz project the Svityaz, Oral and Sura Aerospace Rocket Complexes ASRC is intended for launching of various spacecraft SC into circular, elliptic and high-altitude circular, including the geostationary GSO, orbits. Svityaz ASC represents a unique system that allows launch of spacecraft without utilization of complicated ground infrastructure. The Svityaz is launched directly from a modified version of an 225 Mariya, a Ukrainian airplane and airplane carrier that is currently the largest one in the world. Modified Mariya that will be used to carry Svityaz has been designated a code of an 225-100. The aircraft is equipped with special devices to secure the LV above the fuselage. The operators and onboard equipment are located in the pressure-tight cabins. The Svityaz LV is being created on the basis of units, aggregates and systems of Zenit LV. It consists of three stages of non-toxic propellants, liquid oxygen and kerosene. The launch vehicle is injected into the geostationary orbit using a solid propellant apogee stage. Topic: <laughs> Sea launch project See more detailed article at Sea Launch. Sea Launch is joint venture space transportation company, partially owned by companies in Ukraine which handle operations for the National Space Agency. Sea Launch offers a mobile sea platform, used for spacecraft launches of commercial payloads on specialized Ukrainian Zenit 3 SL rockets. The main advantage of the floating cosmodrome is its placement directly on the equator. It allows taking the greatest advantage of Earth's rotation to deliver payloads into orbit at low expense. Within the framework of the project the space rocket complex was developed, which consists of four components. Marine segment Rocket segment Spacecraft segment and Facilities Sea launch mothballed its ships and put operations on long-term hiatus in 2014. Topic. Satellite programs Ukraine produced the Sitchin Okean Earth Observation Satellites, as well as a few other types of satellites and the Koronas Solar Observatory in cooperation with Russia. Sitch 1 1995-2001 Okean since 1999 Sitch 1M MC1 TK 2004 to 2006 Sitch 2 2011 2012 Libid 1 planned NSAU currently is working on further Sitch series satellites Sitch 2M Sitch 3 Sitch 30 and Sitch 3P Libid M and an Ukrasilina satellite to fly around the moon in 2017 postponed Topic Human flights Prior to Ukraine's independence, several Ukrainians flew in space under the Soviet flag. Ukrainian Pavlo Popovich was the fourth cosmonaut in space, in 1962. The first Ukrainian to fly in space under the Ukrainian flag was Leonid K. Kadenyuk on 13 May 1997. He was a payload specialist on NASA's STS-87 Space Shuttle mission. It was an international spaceflight mission, involving crew members from NASA USA, NSAU Ukraine, and NASDA Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Director General Volodymyr Horbulin March 9, 1992 – August 12, 1994 Andriy Zalko Titarenko, August 23, 1994 to March 9, 1995. Alexander Nihoda, February 20, 1995 to July 25, 2005. Yuri Alekiev, July 25, 2005 to February 11, 2009. Alexander Zinchenko, February 11, 2009 to March 17, 2010. Yuri Alekiev, March 17, 2010 to November 28, 2014. 
Alexander Holub, October 16, 2014 to January 21, 2015. Ole Yuruski, January 21 to August 19, 2015. Lubomir Sabadash, August 19, 2015 to July 22, 2016. Alexander Holub, July 25 to September 13, 2016. Yuri Radchenko interim September 14, 2016 to August 31, 2017. Pavlo Dechyarenko since August 31, 2017. Topic See also Lviv Center of Institute for Space Research A message from Earth AMFE was sent by NSAU towards Gliese 581c, a large terrestrial extrasolar planet orbiting the red dwarf star Gliese 581. The signal is a digital time capsule containing 501 messages. <laughs>